this is the video game votary show your support and hit subscribe right now what's going on video game votary vanguard's boy the video game votary here so today is a very special episode where this is my very first video game review uh surprisingly enough I haven't really reviewed any games. I've touched on them and stuff like that, but I haven't done any reviews. So, um, I began my Friday Night Finisher series where basically I'm going through my library and I'm finishing the games. Um, not completing them like the completionists. I'm just finishing them. Nine times ten is going to be on an easy mode. I just want to get through, uh, you know, these games in my library and I kind of have them sitting there. Um, so I decided to do that and I decided to kick the series off with Call of Duty Modern Warfare. But before we get into the review, let me help you guys to understand my ratings, which I'll get my actual um, ending, my end rating on the actual gameplay at the end of the video. So basically, uh, the way I've decided to have my ratings set up is pretty simple. Uh, the lowest basically means the game sucks. The second to the lowest is gonna be okay, basically saying the game's okay. Um, you know, it's not horrible, but it's also, I wouldn't go back and play it again. Um, then we got a good game rating, which is obviously exactly what it says, that it's a good game, and I would go back and play it. Uh, I wouldn't say I would go back and play it multiple times, but it's a good game. And last but not least, we got a classic rating. Classic rating, exactly what it sounds like. Great game, uh, stellar, A-plus rating, go back and replay multiple times is just an overall great game so let's just get into call of duty modern warfare into the campaign specifically uh let's start with the graphics the graphics are a plus level fantastic graphics almost to the point well not almost it looks like a movie you know especially a lot of the uh visual cutscenes. the way that that looks you know it really looks like you're watching a television show or movies fantastic the characters the storylines uh, the plots, everything is just super engaging. The dialogue is very, very real. It's almost like a reality thing. It brings you right in, and it's kind of set in a modern era. Super, super fantastic. Um, graphics just look super real. It's like it's, you know, real people. They really did their thing with this game and creating this campaign mode. It made the game look very, very fantastic, very appealing on the eyes just everything from top to bottom even the de the attention to detail that they put into the maps and the different scenery and different scenes of the campaign mode was just fantastic um next i want to touch on the length of the game the length was not super long it took me about um three three or four episodes to to finish the game <coughs> excuse me and i was playing at an hour hour and a half max um on each episode and it was about four so uh all in all probably took me about six hours i probably could have done it faster but you know i did take breaks and i didn't overextend the gameplay but overall i was satisfied with the length i think sometimes when games get to be too long that you kind of lose your way and it stops becoming fun in a sense and you know i'm i'm an impatient person so um i think it takes patience to stick through um and see a game through but of course that uh, goes hand in hand with whether or not the game is interesting if it falls off and I think you know You want to retain your audience so you don't want the game to be too long But you you know you still want to be good and long enough to make the person want to actually play it and beat it But not too long where it begins to uh, get born and starts to fade off if that makes any sense uh, Another plus with this game this game was super action-packed the story mode and the plot um, is you basically you a couple different characters within the game where you are at one point you're a child with uh, a little girl with an older brother and you got to kind of um, break your way out of um, what seems like it's like an intrusion where they basically this uh, not a gang but a group of uh, almost like almost like terrorists taking over um, a land and they rushing in and they kill the father, so it's just the brother and the, and the younger sister. She's under bed, and you gotta use a screwdriver and stab your way. You gotta stab the enemy and make your way out of the out of the house, and then go with your brother and dodge all of these like 
not neo-Nazi, but almost like terrorist um, characters that are basically trying to take over the land and kill any and everything in that way. It's super, super, super duper intense and it just keeps you fully engaged. And I was literally on the edge of my seat playing this game. I was just super excited and fully engaged into the game. Um, it was just fantastic. Great, just great, great story mode. They really took their time with that and um, created that storyline. It was just really, really fantastic. Great cinematics. I, I can't say enough about it. Um, so it was super duper action packed, man. It's definitely fantastic. As far as that, there's no, um, really no dull moments within the campaign mode. You know, it was just enough, um, again, to keep you engaged. Nothing makes you kind of lack off and make you feel like, oh, well, you know, you know, you get those feelings where you want to play something else. But it was great all in all. Um, uh, also want to talk about this, uh, again, talk about the storyline. You know, that was just something, it, it, it you know, sometimes when you don't stay on track with playing, when you're playing a game, you kind of follow, you know, basically a storyline and it's a series of events. But this kind of bounced you around with multiple characters, but you really didn't feel lost while playing the game. It was just basically different scenarios with different characters, but um, nothing really seemed out of place or out of context. It all made sense. They basically were able to have you uh the player play as multiple characters but they still all come to one uh cinematic conclusion to the game and it all basically each part made sense each character made the other one made sense and i don't know for a fact if all the characters that you use and play as in the game are actually related in some type of way although it does seem that way um it didn't really say but i kind of get the idea that um if they're all related in some sort of way um but all in all they did a fantastic job with that especially with them not having uh the creators call of duty developers is what i'm saying when i say they uh they did a great job bringing back the campaign mode i mean it was fantastic you know this is something where if some players say that they didn't want a campaign mode that if they played this it would remind them you know that call of duty does make very good campaign modes I hadn't played a campaign mode for Call of Duty since uh, Call of Duty Ghost, which was also a great campaign as well. But I got to say, hands down, out of all the campaigns of Call of Duty I played, this was definitely the best one yet. Um, so overall, I'm going to give it a classic rating. It was a fantastic game. Great graphics. It's not too long. It was definitely action-packed. The storyline and plot was very, very good. Kept you on the edge of your seat. Very, very entertaining from the beginning to the end. I can't say enough about it. Um, I know this coming uh, Friday is Black Friday. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare will be on sale for $38 at uh, at Target, I believe. Um, you can check my last episode where I was talking about the Black Friday deals to verify which store is going to have it on sale. But to me, especially at that price range, I mean, I played online. I know everybody's not um, fully online um, or full online gameplay. But I actually love Call of Duty Online, so that was one of the reasons I bought the game. But the campaign itself is definitely worth the money as well. If you're just looking for something to play on solo mode, um, it was great um, gameplay, great control, something anybody can pick up and play. It's not too difficult at all. Your typical first-person shooter, and it gives you directions, um, you know, in case you are a casual player and you don't really play like that. But, again, it's a classic rating. I definitely very, very highly rated, very... Um, just I, I can't say enough about this game and how great it was from top to bottom and how entertaining I was so again go back into which I'm gonna create a playlist for the Friday Night Finisher series and keep those separate you can go back and watch that gameplay just to check it out for yourself firsthand and of course you'll be seeing the gameplay as I'm speaking as well um so I definitely recommend it and we're going to continue this where we do reviews every time we finish a game and um so the next game on the list is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. So we'll be doing a review for that probably in a couple weeks. I don't want to uh, flood you guys with game reviews every single week. But I um, also don't want it to get too outdated where, you know, I finished the game a couple months ago and I'm trying to go back and relive it. It's got to kind of be fresh in my mind as well. So definitely go back and check that out. Also catch me live on Twitch every Friday evening. Uh, www.twitch.tv backslash video game votary uh, of course hit the like subscribe button um, 
everybody view this please hit the like button uh also hit the share button drop a comment let me know do you guys have call of duty Modern warfare do you have any plans on playing the campaign mode what do you guys think about the game in general and after watching some of the gameplay do you think it's something that you feel like it's worth picking up in the future so we're going to end the episode on that note this is your boy the video game voter and we out thank you for watching follow me on all social media platforms at video game voter